health drug in the United States. It takes the edge off for millions. It's a tranquilizer prescription drug which is used to treat anxiety. I'd be on Azaz like and be driving on the, on the highway like I should be dead. Yo, what's good, everybody? It's your boy Franz, and today is Sunday service. Let's go, Pinky Gang. <laughs> we are in here, and I, I said it. I said it a lot, but I'm I'm not even kidding. This is uh the best Sunday service ever. It gets better every week. This one is gonna be a good one. So. All the new people here, welcome to Sunday service. This is the third week of Sunday service. It's a new thing I started where we're going to listen to a ton of awesome fucking bands. And this is my favorite part of the week. This one's a really good one. Before we get going, tell all your friends, make a tweet, whatever, share the stream. Sunday service, it's going down. I hope you guys have your headphones in, and I hope you're prepared to listen to a lot of amazing bands. I hope that you crack a beer with me and enjoy this fine Sunday, okay? Mmm. So, I will say, I did finally figure out... Oh, the mic is clipping. Thank you. I just have it way too high. I'm like... All up in the microphone's fucking nutsack. Um, I did finally figure out how to play YouTube videos on the stream. And I know that's something that people um, were not complaining about, but suggesting on the last Sunday service because a lot of bands have music videos. So now we will be able to watch music videos. So this one's going to be a really fun one, but... We have a lot of great bands, so let's get it started. Sunday service, baby. Thank you guys for following me here on Twitch. We're going to have some fun. Let's go. Yeah. Hell yeah! Woo! Thank you for the subscription. Also, <laughs> I updated my subscription sound, so it's me screaming hell yeah every time you subscribe. So not it makes it fun, all right? We're having, we're having a little bit more fun now. All right, time to make my screen a little smaller. And here we go. Today, we're I'm just going to let you guys know we're starting off with a fucking bang today. So the very first band today is a female-fronted metalcore band from New York City. They're called The Fallen Prodigy. And this song features... Will Ramos of Lorna Shore, okay? So I know you guys are going to lose your shit over this. Here we go. <laughs> This is the end of my life The one I used to know Where I could with my head and find Comfort in my shelter too I was such a fool to believe That I could pray from me I said those driving me to pull the trigger And set myself free I now have realized my fear I'm standing right at the gate I'm dead by a limo Bits of my blood escape Set my life I'm 
was awesome yo that was super sick what did you guys think of that shit right there huh that was the fallen prodigy they're from new york city that shit was so sick yo that was awesome yo props to you guys hell yeah that was fucking awesome Ugh. all right so another thing i gotta figure out because I'm, I'm new to this like i said I need to figure out how to, this will be easy here. Mm. Here we go. All right, I'm moving the chat just in case we get more music videos, which I know we will. I'm moving the chat to a separate window. So that way I can still read the chat because I, I had the, the music video playing, but I couldn't read the chat. But yeah, that was a fucking, that was awesome. That was a good song. I'm going to check out some of these comments really quick. Um, yeah, that shit fucked. That was awesome. All right, let's 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 keep it going. Let's keep it going. It's Sunday service. Welcome. We got a lot of good bands to play today. <laughs> let's see. Why do I have all caps on right now? The fuck? Alrighty, alrighty. Alrighty, alrighty. Okay. This band is called Dreaming of a Day. They are from... Los Angeles, California, dreaming of a day. This song is called Wretched. Let's go. <laughs> Never mind. I fucked up. That was Attila. <laughs> All right, dreaming of a day. This song is called Wretched. Done. 
into this. I'm going to be honest. I don't think the clean singing is bad, but I think the song would be slightly better without it. Just personal opinion. yeah so that was dreaming of a day and that song was called wretched they're from los angeles california i liked it 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 hit a lot of different areas uh it it got my new new metal itch going uh it had the bounce it had the cool um slipknot vibe that i like really cool i like the song like i said i'm not i don't want to over critique anything but i do want to give personal opinion I'm, it's not that I'm against clean singing, but I think a lot of songs are cool just without it. Like, that song was a banger of a song. Didn't need the clean singing, but if you are going to do clean singing, produce the shit out of it. Like, overproduce it, like, 15 layers. Like, all all bands that everyone listens to, every band you listen to has, like, crazy-ass, like, 15, 20 layers of clean vocals over a chorus. So, if you're going to go with the clean singing overproduce the shit out of it make it huge blah 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 whatever i mean you don't have to just two cents but yeah no that was fucking sick cool let's get this party popping baby here we go band number three bow 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 this band is called the site of impact Ooh. All right, and it uh the song is called Ideal Life and it features Dropout Kings. The band is from Donna, Texas. Ooh, and guess what? We got a we got a music video here, so I'm going to go ahead and make me small. <laughs> I'm going to make myself small. Here we go. The Sight of Impact Ideal Life featuring Dropout Kings. I love Dropout Kings, by the way, so I feel like I'm going to like this. Oh, hell yeah. This is interesting. I love it. He's like a puppet. This is good. He's got a good voice. Holy shit. This 
song fucking rules. Bouncy as hell, heavy. This vocalist is on fire. Dropout Kings. My boys. He's got a good voice, I fucking love it. Alright, alright. Interesting, this is the new vocalist for Scarlett O'Hara? Hell yeah. <clears throat> oh, the strings are gone! Hey! Yo, that was fucking cool. That was fucking cool. I liked that. That was a good one. Alright, I'm making myself big now. Ha <laughs> ha! Dude, that was fucking awesome. So that was, that was The Sight of Impact, and that song was called Ideal Life, featuring Dropout Kings. <clears throat> Dropout Kings fucking awesome. That was a band that I signed to my record label. Those guys are cool. But that was, that was fucking good. I like that. I think everything was very well executed. I don't, I don't have any critique except that it's fucking awesome. So if you like that style of music, you can't doubt that that was a great fucking song, and that's a good band. The side of impact. Shout out. Shout outs to side. The side of impact. Shouts. Shouts and outs. Shout. Sh 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 shouts and outs. Ooh, right now we have a metalcore band from the Bay Area, California. The band is called Captive State, and the song is called Deadbeat. Oh, guess what? We got another music video. Travel pillows? All right, waiting for this ad to go away. Blam, blam, blam. All right, I'm going to make myself small. Here we go. This is Captive State, and the song is called Deadbeat, California metal. Here we go. Oops. Here we go. Oh yeah, we woke up and chose violence. I like this video too. It's very like DIY. Woo.
Oh shit. Drop the metal horns in the chat. Drop the metal horns. All the subscribers, drop them, drop them. Let's go. Captive state and that song was called Deadbeat. That was fucking nasty. Full send. I uh if I had something around me to throw, I would have thrown it. But thank goodness that I do not. Because that song was fucking wild. That was sick. Definitely God, it's there's a lot of fucking good bands today. Straight up. That was that was a good one. That was a good one. Very happy about that. That was fucking awesome. Cool. <laughs> Hell yeah. Captive State Deadbeat. Fuck yeah. Love it. Ooh. This is a good one. By the way, everyone, um, if you want to get the cool emotes, you got to be a subscriber. Check it out. We got them. We got Stay Sick. I, I'm uploading a bunch of new emotes all the time, but Got to gotta, gotta join the sub squad. Be a part. Get all the cool emotes. You could use them everywhere, by the way. It's pretty fucking cool. Hell yeah! Ha <laughs> ha! There we go. <laughs> I am hell. Welcome to the sub squad. Whenever I hear that noise, I'm like, oh, I know someone subscribed. I just changed that yesterday, by the way. I fucking love it. Okay, okay, okay. So. This band is called No Loss, No Regrets, and the song is called Waste Away. And guess what? We got another music video. Ooh, I want to get it on the screen before I start it. I clicked it, and I'm like, shit. No Loss, No Regrets, Waste Away. Oh, it's a lyric video. That's all good. I like that cadence.
like that cadence. Stuck in my head. So I am going to start uploading all of my Sunday service streams to YouTube. So I actually am recording everything so I can upload it to YouTube. So we're good. Hey, cheers, everyone. Sunday service. Grab a beer. Let's go. Fuck yeah, that was No Loss, No Regrets. That song was called Waste Away. I think that that person got hurt by a girl or a guy. Who knows? Someone. It was an emotional song, my guy. But that was cool, though. I fuck with it. I fucks with it. What were they supposed to do? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> uh, no, there there are no song requests. I have a full list of bands predetermined because um, submissions start like all week long. They cut off on Sunday. But basically, anyone that wants to be a part of Sunday service, shoot me an email to businessfranz at gmail.com. Send me all your shit. That's how we do it. Because I, I, I have to plan it ahead to make the stream flow. Know what I'm saying? Know what I'm saying? Um, cool. So uh, this is his. Uh, this dude's name is Tom. He has a solo band called The Fade Effect. He's also a journalist for New Fury Media. I've heard of New Fury Media. That's what's up. Cool. Fuck yeah. All right. I'm going to make myself big. All right. The band is called The Fate Effect, and the song is called Degenerates, featuring Cameron McBride of Meth Witch. <laughs> Meth Witch, yes. All right. Here we go. Something's gonna happen. How'd you get that emote, Lori?
Jesus Christ! This is a different level of piss. This is the fade effect, and the song is called Degenerates. Yes! Holy shit. Okay, that band is called The Fade Effect. And that song was called Degenerates. That was fucking sick. Like, it was the part... Like, okay, the intro built a lot of suspense. It dropped fucking sick. But then the second the vocals came in, it just, like, sent me to hell. And I like that. That's that's what I want. That's what I want. Give me more of that. I I want more of that. <laughs> oh. All right. Okay, okay. Here we are. We're going we're going down the list, baby. This next band. We got we got another YouTube. Hmm. Ooh, shit. I don't know which one to play. He sent me two. This is uh, James Cole the Fourth, a solo artist in Nashville. It looks like he's got... Uh, I'm just going to play it. I'm going to play the first one. All right, there's a YouTube video. This song's called Nuck If You Buck. So I'm wondering if this is going to be a cover, because I really do like Knuck If You Buck. Let's see. All right, here we go. Here we go. YouTube. Boom. Hello. The do what? James Cole. Norman Reagan doing a crime mob cover. I gots to go, man. I oh, it's a I cover. Fuck yeah. Shit, Let's right? go. Say, hey, bitch, bring my yak. We about to get the fuck out of here. But daddy, you said we was gonna go to McDonald's. You nick my ass on the way, bitch. Come on, let's go. <laughs> oh my god, this is gonna be sick. That tuning, Jesus. Why wasn't I a part of this song? Now I'm jealous. This is sick as fuck. Fucking sick! This is gangster! Yo! This is so sick! Yo! 
This is so sick! God damn, what are they like quadruple drop F? Oh shit. A kitty! Ooh. Oh, kitty cat. That was fucking cool. That was so sick. Like, I, I grew up in Atlanta, and I love Crime Mob, and I love Nuck If You Buck. Like, that was, that was cool as shit. That was, that was really fucking cool. So, everyone, that was James Cole the Fourth. He's a solo artist from Nashville, and I'm, I'm usually, when I hear solo artist from Nashville, I think that we're going to be listening to some country, but fuck no. That was some... That was some straight, like, deathcore, trap metal, ass-beater rap cover. That was sick. And I know he's got originals, too, but I got a lot of bands to get to, so I would dive down the James Cole the Fourth wormhole because I'm very intrigued now, and I like it a lot. But we got to keep this motherfucker party problem, baby. That was so sick, though. Like, I fucking... I wish more people did shit like that. You know what I mean? Uh, 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 all right. All right, all right. So now we have a band from Laredo, Texas, and they are called Requiem for Redemption. So here we go. Here we go, here we go. The song is called... Okay, so this is this is some South Texas bar music with a twist of industrial metal, punk rock flavors. I think this is a live song. I wish they had a video with this. Okay, this is Paragon. Here we go. This is a live track, boys. We're about to listen to some a live a live audio of a, a South Texas uh, bar band. So this is a uh, this is a live audio recording. I think that's why it sounds like this.
This is literally what South Texas sounds like, seriously. I would totally go see this band and drink some beers. This just reminds me of like playing every time we go to Corpus Christi and we play at a bar. Yeah, seriously, if this is a live recording, this makes me want to hear when they actually record an album, like a studio album, you know? There, were, there used to be some venues back in the day where when you played them, they would give you a recording of your uh, your live performance on a CD. I wish I had all the old Attila live recordings from like 2005 or 2006. But every venue you would play would give you, not everyone, but some venues would give you a CD. Like a burn CD. It was like, here's your live performance and you could hear it and it was fucking awesome. It was cool. It was especially good because when Attila started, we were so fucking poor that it was like, we didn't have money to record. So if we played a venue that gave you a live recording, we were like, hey, we can at least show people our live music. And it was great. Okay. Also with the live recording, it's kind of like, you know what the band's going to sound like live, you know? Because some bands can have really great recordings, but they're just dog shit live. But when you hear a live recording, this is what they're like live. Okay, we got a solo. We're over the seven minute mark, baby. That was a seven minute, 13 second long ripper 
of a live song recorded live at the Cold Brew Rock Bar. That was Requiem for Redemption. All right, all right, all right. I'd like to hear. I'd like to hear a a, a non live recording, but I did enjoy that. I did enjoy. Okay. 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 So now we have a band called Higher Intelligence, and the song is called Crown of Smoke. This band is based out of Los Angeles, and they are ready to take over the motherfucking world verbatim. Higher intelligence, crown of smoke. Let's go. Drum tone. I like it. Old school. Getting a lot of punk vibes from this. This is like punk metal, if that makes sense. Like punk rock metal. Love me a piccolo snare. Why did we misplace this trust? You left me on a wooden cross in hopes that we would save ourselves. The nine inch snails. Thank you for the subscription. Fucking cool. 
All right, guys, that was Higher Intelligence, and the song was called Crown of Smoke. That was interesting. That was like uh, punk meets metal, and that, that drum tone was fucking horny. It was horny. Tony Hawk Pro Skater vibes. CKY vibes. Yeah. Y'all, y'all, ain't, y'all ain't wrong. So now, oh, nice. We have a band from Orlando. That's where, that's where I'm at right now. That's where I live. That's where I'm from. Um, cool. So this band is called Filth, but it's an acronym for Fuck It, Let's Tackle Henry. From Orlando, Florida, this song is called Inside Out. Poor Henry, why is he gonna get tackled? sick that's filth from orlando florida that song's called inside out and i like that it's an acronym so the band is filth fuck it let's tackle henry i want to know the story what did henry do to you like why why henry why what did he do what happened <laughs> yeah we got a lot of sick bands coming up i gotta take a pee break uh, i've been drinking beer so 
I hope you guys are drinking beer too, though. At least we can all relate. Drink a beer. Take this moment of time to go grab yourself a fresh beer. Hell yeah! <laughs> Panda Antichrist, thank you for the subscription. I like that new sub uh, sub sound I made. What do you guys think of that? Every time you sub, I scream hell yeah. Uh, yesterday, Lori was like, what the fuck are you doing up there? I was Because I'm just screaming like different noises for, <laughs> for my Twitch notifications. But all right, all right, enough talking. I'm going to take a quick pee. I'll be back in 30 seconds, all right? Don't go anywhere. Go grab a beer. Be right back. All right, got a couple beers ready to rock and roll. Oh, fuck yeah. Did you guys hear me pee? Hopefully the mic wasn't that loud. That'd be kind of weird. Hell yeah! Yo! <laughs> ED Cloudco, thanks for the sub. Alright, alright. I gotta make sure I pronounce this correctly. Damn, alright, this band has a lot of uh a lot of people. All right. What do you want? Okay, Water. sorry. It's a fucking ad. Fucking ads. So, here we go. This uh this band is called Sire Mind. I think I'm saying it right. S E Y E R. Sire Mind or Sayer Mind. Anyways, this song is called Fill in the Blank. Featuring Bjorn Strid, Sebastian Elizondo, and George Frank. Let's go. They're from Texas. Oh shit! Hell yeah! Hell yeah! Glizzy, thanks for the sub!
Yeah, this band's sick. I could see them on tour with like As I Lay Dying or Black Veil Brides or Avenged Sevenfold. This is good. I like, I like, that's a good chorus. That's a good chorus. That's a good song. Trivia rules. This is a band I would want to see live just because I, I know it's good. I want to see this band live and I want to get like the... I feel like... This is a big compliment, by the way. But when I hear this band, I, I, don't, I don't picture this music in like a club, like a 200-person club. I picture this music at like an arena or like a auditorium, like the shit that like Slipknot would play. Like I picture this music like... I get like an image when I hear this where I'm like sitting in the lawn with like the biggest beer known to man. Like that's that's what I but that's a compliment because if you make music that is meant for fucking arenas and shit like that, then that's what happens, you know? If you if you know the right people make the right moves. Anyways, that was Sire Mind, S E Y E R Mind, and that song was called Fill in the Blank. Hell yeah! <laughs> that subscription noise was at the perfect fucking timing. <laughs> All right, hey, cheers to that. Crack a cold one. This is gonna be really interesting. This this next one, I feel it. <laughs> All right, there's a video for it, and I'm gonna have to play it here. Okay. Let me make myself small. So this, uh, from what from what I've heard, this artist, uh, he is a solo parody music project. So this song that we're about to hear and that I'm about to show you, because there's a video for it, is called "Shrooms at the Warp Tour." <laughs> oh, I already know. I already know this is gonna be good. All right, guys, Bradley Dern, Shrooms at the Warp Tour. <laughs> Let's go.
I've never heard that one. <laughs> no way! Oh my god, what? This is awesome. See, I like this because I know I can hang out with these people and have a good time. this what's good everybody thank you so much for checking out the video for streams at the warp tour you dig the song i've got links below to spotify and apple music in the description as well as to my instagram page we got plenty more there's this stuff this guy's out. cool please like and subscribe and i appreciate y'all hope you have a good one i i fuck with that all right guys if you've been injured and in i fuck with that heavy that was that was fucking sick I tell you what, that's 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 someone I could hang out with. Like when I when I see something like that, I'm like, this person's cool. I want to drink a beer with this dude. I wanna I wanna do shrooms with this dude. I wanna hang out with him. That dude is fucking awesome. That was a good song. Shrooms at the Warp Tour. That was sick. Also, Shrooms at Warp Tour was a terrible idea, cause you will be tripping balls and you will run into the weirdest people. Like. Warp Tour is full of strange like characters and and 
you, you don't want to be tripping. But the song, you know, it reiterated on that. That was really fucking good. That was fucking cool. I'm 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 stoked about that one. Guys, that was <clears throat> That was Bradley Dern. And that song was called Shrooms at the Warp Tour. That was fucking cool. I I like that. That that makes me happy. Ooh. All right, guys, we got an Australian band coming up. Sorry, I'm checking out this uh, chat going on right here. All right, cool. Here we go. We got an Australian band coming up right now. The band name is The Daily Chase, and the song is called Lotus Land, and they're from Adelaide. I've been to Adelaide a couple times. Oh, they got a music video for this. So as as always, I will I will play the music video. The Daily Chase Lotus Land. Let's scope it out. Let's see what the fuck's going on here. We haven't had an Australian band on here, so this is great. Australia. Let's fucking go. Are you tired of the real world? Are you fed up with life not going the way you plan? Well, it's Sire time. Mind, we just played your track. You just missed it, bro. It's okay. This will be pre-recorded. But dude, everyone love your band, Sire Mind. Whoa, this video is wild. Holy shit. Damn. They're on another another level out, out here in Australia, Jesus Christ. So good. This is like the best quality video I've seen in forever. Hell yeah. Thanks for the sub, Chris from Polygraph. Australians are on another level.
Yo! This is unreal! Yo! That was unfucking real! Australia's got it going on! What the fuck? Holy shit! That was so good! Damn! So the band is called The Daily Chase, and that song was called Lotus Land. Holy shit, that was a really good song. Really good quality recording, great production, and that video was insane. That was really good. That was like one of the best like video production I've I've seen in a while. That was fucking cool. Like that was like movie quality. What's going on in Australia? Why are you guys so good? What the fuck? <laughs> Lot Lotus Land, L O T U S land that was the song title the band was called the daily chase from adelaide australia that was fucking sick fuck yeah yeah that's uh, we got to crack a beer to that one that was that was fucking good I was very, very happy about that one. Ooh, okay. I like that I finally figured out how to play music videos too. This is this makes it way better. This is so much sicker now to have music videos. Okay. So I don't want to pronounce this band name wrong but it looks like um lanide l-a-n-i-i-d-a-e L -A -N -I -I -D -A -E, and the song is called moda five and we have a music video for this one too so let's check it out i'm very excited here we go I know you're not asleep tonight I know you're not asleep tonight Tonight Tripping on the bedroom window Tripping on the bedroom window Never to find a way Never to find a way Feeling the other side Losing your goddamn mind Was that boobies? I like this dude's haircut a lot. This is interesting. I like it. This is a vibe. I like this a lot because it's different. They don't sound like anything. I love it. This is refreshing. It's refreshing to hear bands that don't sound like other bands. I love this.
like this. Like, I want to listen to this on my free time now. This is so fucking good. Another great video, by the way. Like, that was a really good video. The end, question mark? I see. Okay. Okay, that band is fucking cool. That band is fucking cool. So, they're called... Um, I don't know if it's Lana Day or Lani Day, but it's L-A-N-I-I-D-A-E. That song was so fucking cool. Like, that was... Yeah, there you go. You guys spelled it right in the chat. That was so fucking cool. Like, that was refreshing. I I always tell people, like, I hate I hate how many bands, like, or, or people that aspire to be in bands and start a band. I hate that they they try so hard to copy, like architects like there's like dude we have enough fucking bands that sound like architects we have enough fucking bands that try to sound like bring me the horizon like that band sounded like nothing like i haven't heard anything like that before and it was fucking really good it's possible to create really good music without trying to copy some other band or sound like another band and that's the perfect example because that song was catchy vibey heavy creepy like bouncy it was everything all while not sounding like anyone that's how that's how you carve your niche that's how you you last a long time perfect example not to toot my own horn when attila was created in 2004 when i started the band you know how many bands sounded like attila with like rap and screaming and breakdowns and all that shit none but 18 years later Attila's still here. Attila's still touring. Attila's still making music. I've been able to create a career off of music because we carved our own path and made our own music that didn't sound like any other fucking band. You know? So I, I just... Sorry to go on a rant. I just want to inspire people because that song was cool. That band is cool. And I want more people, if you are trying to start a band, I want more people to inspire like, hey, we don't have to sound like anyone. Like all these like architects cookie cutter ripoff bands are like people like it, but are they going to be around in 18 years? No. Like are, are people going to make a career off of it? No. Don't copy other people. Start your own lane. Start your own music. All right. Whew. Rant. Sorry. Big rant. I just I felt like ranting because that was like inspiring to me because that, that band was fucking cool. I like that band a lot. <laughs> I got hyped. We got a lot of Texas in here. Okay, okay. Well, damn. This is great. So this band is called Gut Fauna. G-U-T-F-A-U-N-A. Gut Fauna. The song is called Hearing Loss. They're from Houston, Texas. And what's cool is that from what they told me, um, Jason Caudill from Sleepwaker was a part, which is awesome. And the song was mixed and mastered by Josh Schroeder. And Josh Schroeder is here in Orlando. And that's the guy that Attila records with and a day to remember. So I know it's going to be good. This has got to be good. And there's there's another music video for it. So even even better. <laughs> this dude has stayed sick for 18 years. Amen. I have. Gut fauna, hearing loss. Here we go. We got a music video. Let's go. This is gonna be nasty.
This is fucking sick. Oh shit. Throw them horns in the chat, baby! didn't need to go that hard what the fuck was that yo look in the top left corner that was gut fauna and that song was called hearing loss what the fuck holy shit that went so hard that was so fucking cool i just want to say shout out to your guitarist because i hear those fucking weird creepy scales I, he I heard the weird shit you're doing there. Just, it's it's the little things that got me. The little things that, that it's the, you know, it's the, the cherry on top. The little shit. I heard it. That was, now, yeah, now I'm sweaty. That was, that was the first time I threw something so far in this stream. That was nasty. You guys didn't have to go that hard. Save some pussy for the rest of us, dude. God damn. There are a lot of good bands. There's a lot of good bands. Cheers to that, everyone. Sunday service. Crack a beer. Let's keep it rolling. Mmm. Gut Fauna. Houston, Texas. Hearing loss. That was a good one. That was fucking awesome. Okay, so now we have a song that is unreleased. So the band is called Enemies and Allies. <clears throat> Enemies and Allies from Charlotte, North Carolina. And we're about to listen to Kate Bush Keep Running Up That Hill cover, cover song. And it's not coming out till July 1st. So we're going to get a sneak peek of it here. This 
this is good. Come on, baby. Come on, come on, darling. Let me steal this moment from you now. Come on, angel. Come on, come on, darling. Let's exchange the experience of. This is good. I like this better than the original. This is fucking awesome. This is so good. Yo. That was fucking solid. Holy shit. Also, I gotta let everyone know that song is unreleased. So you guys just heard it first. That song is getting released this weekend, July 1st. The band is called Enemies and Allies. Keep running up that hill. It's a cover song. That's really fucking good. Holy shit. That was, that was sick. Also, I saw someone mention the ads thing. I meant to turn the ads off. I'm sorry for that, but... If you are subscribed, you don't get ads, which is a cool thing. Also, anyone that's watching right now, if you have Amazon Prime, you can subscribe to me for free. All you have to do is connect your Amazon Prime to your Twitch channel. If you link them, you get a free subscription. Uh, so you can subscribe for free, get all the cool fucking emotes, no ads, no nothing, all the best shit. So, okay, okay. Now... We have another Australian band. And like I said, something about Australia is just nasty. So we have a band called Deficit. And the song name is Death Prize. And we have a video. And I feel like with a, with a band called Deficit and the song named Death Prize. Hell yeah! Hell yeah! Ron Gold, thanks for the sub. I feel like this is going to be fucking fire. We got, a, we got a video for it, by the way, so I will be playing a video for everyone. <laughs> Chris Pitt Real, thank you. Yeah. Hell yeah, hell yeah, hell yeah. Okay. Well, this song was debuted on Caliber TV. Those are my boys. This band's from Australia. They're called Deficit, and the song is called Death Prize. Let's watch this video together. I'm stoked. Let's check this shit out. Here we go. Warning. Warning. The following contains bright flashing lights and her imagery that may cause discomfort in her seizures. Okay. Give me a fucking seizure. Prove it. Prove it. Give me a seizure right now. General rule of thumb, if a band's from Australia, they're going to be good. This is fucking 
looking good. fucking dealer, but I like this a lot. Solo, baby. Fucking sick. Yo. That was deficit death prize. That was fucking sick. God damn Australia. Chill out, Australia. Why you guys gotta go so hard out there, alright? Fuck. That was sick. Holy shit. There are a lot of good bands, and I know that a lot of people watching the stream right now are in bands. Um fucking network. Um straight up um if you if you guys are in a band and you're part of this stream or whatnot reach out to these other bands uh hit them up on social media and connect become friends you know what i'm saying like it never hurts like something attila did in the early days is we would always connect with bands from different regions and areas so like you know we're from we we crushed it in the southeast because we're a southern band we'd connect with the band in the northeast and we would do tour trades or we would um let them jump on our headline show and we would jump on their headline show so this is a good networking opportunity for people if you uh you know play your cards right let's keep it rocking baby let's keep it rocking oh oh Ooh, we got a hardcore band all right okay okay Cool. This band is called Bear Kings. Or Bear King. Sorry. B-A-R-E. Not bear like a bear. Bear King. <clears throat> heavy death heavy hardcore deathcore metalcore whatever band from hot dusty ass Bakersfield, California. I like Bakersfield. We got a video for it too. Let's rock let's rock this shit. Bear King, let's rock it, baby. Let's rock it. Ooh. Okay. I know this intro. It's going to be good. Bear King, defeat us. Take it straight! 
Matter of fact. in Bakersfield, California. Anywhere that people do meth is a place I like. And I don't even do meth. Here we go. I want to watch this band live But I'm gonna stay far from the pit This is a murder pit This is a murder riff, dude Someone is getting hurt right now Someone God damn. Yeah, that's that's one of those bands that I'm like, I want to fucking see that band live, but I'm not going to be anywhere close to the fucking pit. Not because I'm a pussy, but because there's fucking murderers in that pit, okay? Someone's someone's trying to take someone's head off when that shit plays, all right? Straight up. <laughs> I know I know my shit. I I know I know it when I hear it. Di straight disrespected the air around me i mean honestly i probably would just get in the pit but i feel like sometimes you're safer in the pit than anywhere not in the pit when the murder music comes on that was fucking sick holy shit bear king it's a cool ass name too we're fucking bear king yeah that was cool <laughs> Uh, 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 yeah. Okay. So this artist is called M H M. The track is called Six Feet Deep. Born and raised in South Florida, Broward County, inspired by Eminem to write raps at 13 years old with my love for metal music, becoming a self-taught drummer and vocalist. Why not put it all together? Music has been my therapy and it saved my life. Here we go. Here we go. This song's called Six Feet. We are here gathered today for memories, sadness, love. And now you may all rest in peace. Thank you for coming out today. I hope God watches over you all. 
M H M, correct. Now you're underground, six feet deep. Hope you rest in peace. Flowers on the grave, tombstone with your name. Black Cadillac, time to celebrate your day. Tragic sight to see. Just another day, another dead MC. This is definitely South Florida, for sure. Yeah, six feet deep. Now you're underground, six feet deep. Hope you rest in peace. M H M, back on the feet, packing the heat. I'ma have you laying in dead. Back up, I'm spraying lead, not with the bullets, with an incredible flow. I'm untouchable. So here we go again, charged with homicide, murder weapon with the pen. I am a god. I wrote these murderous lines. Put my name in your mouth and you deserve to die. This beast, no sympathy. Deceased, perceived eyes are back in my skull. Face you don't want to meet. I'm a deadly MC, no threat to me. I will pull your ass up like an IED. Six feet deep, rest in peace. Now you're underground, rest in peace. Yo. I'm getting jinx vibes. Underground, six feet deep, hope you rest in peace. Flowers on the grave, tombstone with your name. Black Cadillac, time to celebrate your day. Tragic sight to see, just another day, another dead MC. RIP, laying underground, six feet deep. Yeah, six feet deep. Now you're underground, six feet deep, hope you rest in peace. Hit him with the venom in a minute, let me kill it. Ah, still dangerous, still a villain. Still a villain. Sick of being doubted, you're not about it. Full of insane rage, I'm spitting at an insane rate. I'm undefeated, overachieving. And believe it, my name is MHM, and this is the greeting. Look See, this is this is like me. This is what happens when you grow up on Eminem and heavy metal at the same time. Then a double pedal black. Happy death day. It's a rest day. Let's play. I'm coming to kill now. You're dead laying on the floor, cold body. Just got away with murder with my hobby. Guess I caught another body. Oh, so say hi to Satan now that you're six feet deep underground. Yeah, now you're underground, six feet deep. Rest in peace. Now you're underground, six feet deep, rest in peace. Now you're underground, rest in peace. Now you're underground, rest in peace, y'all. Now you're underground, six feet deep, hope you rest in peace. Flowers on the grave, two stone with your name. Black Cadillac, time to celebrate your day. Tragic sight to see, just another day, another dead MC. R.I.P. Laying underground, six feet deep, y'all. Yeah, six feet deep. Now you're underground, six feet deep, hope you rest in peace. Now you're underground, six feet deep. Rest in peace, flowers on the grave, tombstone with your name. Black Cadillac, time to celebrate your day. Tragic sight to see, just another day, another dead MC. RIP, lay underground, six feet deep. Yeah, six feet deep. Now you're underground, six feet deep. Hope you rest in peace. It's a breakdown, baby. Let's go. Holy shit. Holy shit. That was fucking cool. I like I like it when things are like different and switched up, you know? That was cool. I I fuck with that. M H M Six feet deep. That's cool as shit though. He's just like, yo, I'm fucking inspired by by Eminem and rap music and heavy metal. I like all this shit. I'm like, hey, I don't, I don't fucking blame you, bro. Same here, same here. <laughs> okay, so now we have a band called 54 Reasons, and the song is called Boys Like Us. Fifty four reasons. Boys like us, here we go. Damn, this track's got fifty thousand views. Fuck yeah. i 
sunset that gets me high A spark of life is all I need She's my beautiful disease And I don't ask why I just go with it cause she tells me it's alright With my head in the clouds I'm still trying to Big newfound glory vibes. This reminds me of when I was 15 years old. In a good way. That was 54 Reasons, and the song was called Boys Like Us. I personally love old school pop punk, big fan of Newfound Glory, big band from my childhood that gave me big Newfound Glory vibes, so I'm a huge fan. 54 Reasons, Boys Like Us. That was sick. That was sick. Uh-oh. I think we got Reminitions coming up next. I've seen you guys in the chat. I know that the Reminitions boys are in the chat, so... The fact that we got, uh, got a lot of support up in this building, I feel like this is going to be a good one. Okay, okay. Yo! Okay. We got a music video, too. Here we go. Y'all ready for this shit, or what? I'm gonna make myself small so we can see this motherfucking video. We got a band called Reminitions from Vizalia, California. The song is called Unholy. I feel like I'm gonna need to throw something here. I'm going to make sure I got something near nearby to throw. Okay, okay. Premiered by Slam Worldwide. All right. It's going to be a good one. Reminitions. Unholy. Y'all ready for this shit or what? Go. 
Gotta crack a new one for this shit. Let out the motherfucking gates, baby! hurt to this for sure We got blood on him. Uh oh. You guys didn't tell me that you went so goddamn hard. That was Unholy by Reminiscence. California boys, Jesus Christ. Whew. My heart rate's up. <laughs> Yo, you guys are fucking sick. Holy shit. Goddamn. Props to Reminiscence. Check that band out for sure. God, my fucking screen's wet now. Like, my computer screen's all wet. Shit's getting sweaty up in here. God damn. Save some pussy for the rest of us, reminiscents. God damn. <laughs> Yo, there's so many fucking good bands today. Like, what the hell? You're my boy, Blue. Hey! Holy shit. Wow. God damn. We got more bands left. This is going to be a big one. I told you guys. This uh, this Sunday service is my favorite one yet. This is a good one. This is a big one. We got a lot of great bands coming. I do have to take a quick pee break. And I want you guys to take this moment to grab a beer and also pee if you have to. Sir Sad Eyes, does anyone else have an erection? Uh, sir, 
I'm half off the bag. And for those of you that don't know, the bag is your nuts. Half off the bag means you're 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 coming off. You're rising. I'm half off the bag, baby. I can't be I can't be full off the bag. I got a job to do here. But I'm I'm literally half off the bag. That was so sick. All right, I'm gonna go piss real quick. I'll be back in about 30 seconds, and we're gonna keep this party rolling. That was fucking sick. We got even more good shit coming up. Let's go, baby. God damn. Oh, I'm totally half off the bag for that shit. Oh, I need another beer. My fridge is right here. All these good fucking bands. I keep crushing these beers. I'm like, God damn. Holy shit. Yo, reminiscence, next time that Attila plays in California, um, open for us so that I can smash a beer on my fucking forehead during your set. <laughs> mm. Okay, here we go, here we go. Nice. I like that we have a lot of bands from all over the place. So now we have a band called Descape from Quebec, Canada. And this song is called True... Self. And we got a music video. We got another music video to watch. Love that shit. Love that shit. Damn, so these boys... This video has 76,000 views. That's what's up. That's fucking impressive. This is Descape True Self. These boys from Quebec, Canada... Let's get it poppin', baby. Ooh, boy. Here we go. If that's half off the bag, what's half in the bag? Half in the bag would be like no boner at all. You're soft. Half off the bag is you're starting to rise up. This is vibing.
good. Really good. One of my favorite bands is the Contortionist. So I love when heavy music has a clean singer. I think it's a cool combo, but it has to be a good singer. Fucking good. Yo, that was Descape True Self. That was really fucking good. Like that's I'm I'm trying it's like reminding me of all these bands that I love and I can't like put a name on all of it. But right away I'm just thinking like contortionist vibes, like bands that are really fucking good and really heavy, but their singer is a clean singer. And also, I know you screamed in that song. Your screams are phenomenal, but it's kind of like, I don't know. It's like opposite. Like a lot of bands scream a lot and have like a tiny bit of singing. Your singing is fucking wild, dude. That shit was sick. That was sick. That was really good. I fucks with that heavy. Descape True Self. Check those guys out. Quebec, Canada. It's fucking awesome. I back it. Lyrics are really good too. Like that's that's just like an like an overall really good song. Well written. Well written good fucking song. That's what I'm talking about. Okay. All right. All right. All right. All right. We got a band from Cleveland, Ohio. Cleveland What's good? <laughs> okay, sick. So this band is called Killstreak, deathcore band, and they write songs about our favorite video games. So I believe this song is called No Scope, and it's about Call of Duty. <laughs> That's actually sick as fuck. Okay, we got a video here too. So I'm going to share this video with everyone. No scope. This is fucking cool. I'm, I'm excited. Obviously, I love video games. This is Twitch. Everyone watching right now probably loves video games. Am I right? So here we go. Kill streak. No scope. I already like the vibe where this is going.
Nuke Town. Yes. My boy Ryan. This time for your safety. God damn. Darius from Spite Vibes, in a good way. This is Kill Streak. This song is called No Scope. Sick. Yo, that production. A plus, baby. This song is relentless. Under fire. Fucking damn. What the fuck was that? Holy shit. I gotta catch my breath a little bit. God damn. <clears throat> that band is called Kill Streak. And that song was called No Scope. Um so they're they're a new band and they're fucking awesome. Holy shit. So they, they just started this year. But god damn, that is a really fucking good band. And if any of their songs are, are going to be... Yeah, that's their only single so far. But if anything else is going to be like that, holy shit. Ladies and gentlemen, check out Killstreak. Like, follow them, support them. That was fucking good. My boy Ryan Katz in the band. God damn. <sighs> That was, that was insane. That was, that made me really happy. <laughs> that was, all right, I, I gotta, I gotta stop talking. That was fucking good. That was really fucking good. Okay, we have another band from Australia 
So I'm like, every ba- like this is the most Australian bands that we've had on a Sunday service, and every single Australian band has been fucking awesome. So this band's called Zuko, five piece metalcore hardcore band from Brisbane, Australia. Also, Brisbane was my favorite city in Australia. The two times that I've been in Australia, Brisbane is fucking sick. It reminds me a lot of Florida. Just unhinged, really hot. This is their debut debut release, Row Court. Let's check this shit out. Fuck yeah. Zuko from Australia. Row Court. Here we go. That vocal pattern, baby. Australia, Jesus Christ, what do you put in the water over there? You guys are fucking insane. That was Zuko, Row Court, R O E, space C T. Jesus Christ, Australia's fucking insane, bro. Like, I went to Australia and I just got like, okay, we're on this like giant island, like, like the size of the U.S., stranded from everything chill vibes i didn't know they're so fucking insane (laughs) that shit was nuts bro like what the fuck um so the two times i've been in australia i will i will just say this this is like the funny the funniest thing about australia in the u.s this this is just something small that makes me laugh in australia they have so many kangaroos like people want to go to australia to see a kangaroo they're everywhere like 
You don't even have to go to a zoo to see a kangaroo. You just drive down the road and there's fucking kangaroos everywhere. But in Australia, they don't have deer. So, like, deer is, like, the rest, like, America's equivalent of kangaroo. Because, like, if you're in Australia, you've never seen a deer. So you come to America and it's like, oh, there's deer crossing the road. When you go to Australia, there's fucking kangaroo crossing the road everywhere. Straight up. Like, kangaroo were everywhere. It's just a regular thing. It's just funny. Um, so their, their deer in Australia is kangaroo. Okay, this band is called Cultus Black. The song is called Nevermind. And let's check this shit out. This is different. I like this. This is really good. And the recording quality is Chef's Kiss. I don't know why I'm getting Billy Talent vibes. Like if Billy Talent was heavy metal. And in the best way possible. Love Billy Talent. Oh yeah, I'm half off the bag. That was fucking awesome. Holy shit. That was fucking awesome. There's a lot of really good bands now. What the fuck happened? When I was growing up, bands all sucked. Like everyone sucked. Now everyone's good. Competition. <laughs> the stakes are high, baby. Everyone's fucking good. That was awesome. That band is called Cultus Black. C-U-L-T-U-S Black. Cultus Black. The song is called Nevermind. That was fucking good. That was 
Like, I'm stoked that I'm hearing some bands that are unique where I'm like, this doesn't sound like anything. That makes me happy. Very, 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 very good. We got a couple left. Boys and girls, we got a couple left. Okay, okay. So this band is called Your Own Destroyer. The song is called Message Sent. And they're from the Central Valley, California. And we got a music video. Ooh, also premiered by Slam Worldwide. Very nice, very nice. It is it is cool to be in rock right now. Like something something about it. Like people would just like when when Attila started, like everyone sucked. Like we like our competition was like nothing. We were but we we went above and beyond anyways cuz we wanted to be the best and we spent all our fucking money to help our band grow. But when we were starting Attila in 2004, like dude, there was no fucking like I mean there was competition, but like there wasn't that many bands and and the bands that there were like weren't good i feel like bands now are all like super fucking good which is a good thing like i'm glad bands are good i don't i don't want bands to suck um you know what i'm saying anyways like i said we got we got a couple more few more songs to play today so appreciate y'all for being here crack a beer right now if you're watching this crack a beer it's sunday enjoy your day listen to how beautiful this sound is that's perfect. We all need a little bit of that. Digit K, I agree with what you said. It's relatively cheap now to make a high rec uh, quality recording. You're right. And that is like the biggest thing between um, me starting Attila in 2004 as comparison to a band starting right now in 2022 is that back then there wasn't a lot of um good computer programs or ways to make music sound good unless you went to a professional studio which would require shit more money than any of us have or have had um so it was like impossible to to get good recordings but now with the rise of technology and everything being so good it's it's easier to get a good recording and and have your band sound really good which is cool i i fuck with it it's good because, you know, I want I want more good music. So this band's called Your Own Destroyer. The song is called Message Sent. And we got a YouTube video for it. So let's watch this shit. Y'all ready? I feel like this is going to hurt me. Whenever I see the Slam Worldwide graphic, I'm like, I'm going to throw something. No way. This don't become another one in the way. The same game, you can't look more difficult to play. It's always been in this message set. Don't expect this to be followed with friends. Is that your friend? I just caught us but just the ring in that boy is a thief. I already love this. Here we go. This works every time that he speaks. He likes to escape. That's a type of stick to carry the seeds get under my feet. Dirty something I hate you. I got what you need. I got what you need. I got what you need. Oh yeah, I'm turning it up. Come to get me, but they 
It was one guy screaming and one guy doing clean singing. Guaranteed. I like that now, like the new age is like two vocalists means one dude's rapping and one dude's screaming. That's fucking cool. Yeah, boy. That was your own destroyer message sent. Fuck yeah. Let's get more trap metal music. Like, why can't we do this? Like, why can't we get more trap metal bands? It's fire. Everyone likes it. I mean, we got Attila. We got Bone Crew. We got, and now we've got new bands that are helping uh, support the motherfucking cause. Let's get more out here. How about that? Why, why don't we do it, huh? Why don't we do it? All of us. We're in this together, y'all. All right. Y'all ready to end this shit with the motherfucking bang? Polygraph, I see you here. Are y'all fucking ready or what? Okay, okay. All right, I think we got a video here too. So this band is called Polygraph. The song is called The Hopeless. <coughs> Sorry for the burp. That's just what I do. But yeah, this is a brand new song. It's only been out for a couple months. Polygraph, The Hopeless. We got a music video for it. Y'all ready for this shit? Also, for anyone asking, um, I am pre-recording all of my Sunday service videos, so I'm going to put them on YouTube, so therefore we can have on my YouTube channel all of the Sunday service videos in one spot. It's going to be great. Okay, here we go. Polygraph, The Hopeless, let's motherfucking go. Your microphone is on fire! Yo!
Light me on fire, baby. Light me on fire. Alright, alright. Let me some fire, baby. That was Polygraph. The song was called The Hopeless. That was fucking awesome. Hell yeah. Fuck yeah, baby. Make myself big again. Alright, alright, alright. Yo, what is every how's everyone feeling right now in the chat? How's everyone doing? Sunday service. How's everyone's Sunday going? In the chat. What's good? Drop some metal horns. Where are we at? Where are the subscribers at? Who's supporting? Where are we at? Hey. This was definitely my favorite Sunday service that I've ever done. And I am going to let you guys know um, something. I, I realized that in my recording program, I can record the stream. So I recorded this whole stream, and I'm going to upload it to my YouTube channel. And also, um, I have, I believe I can grab the recordings from last week's Sunday service in the first one, because this is only the third Sunday service I've ever done. So I'm going to put all of them on YouTube so we can rewatch them so that that way... The bands that you guys love the most and you want to rewatch it, you can go back on YouTube, rewatch it. Um, so, yeah. And and you said that I said that about every Sunday service. Well, because everyone's been the best. I've only done three. It's not like I've done a hundred. If you've done a if you've done a hundred of something, you can't say it's the best because then you're lying. But this is my third Sunday service, and literally, there is no doubt that this has been the best. So this this was a really good one, and I'm very proud of all the bands that are on here. Honestly, I found some bands that I'm now huge fans of that I want to tour with, with Attila, and bands that I want to listen to and add to my playlist. So there's a lot of a lot of cool bands um, on this Sunday service that I'm very stoked about. So be on the lookout. I do have a YouTube channel. And I will be putting this whole broadcast on the YouTube channel so that we can rewatch and everything like that. But literally, like, this was my favorite Sunday service that I've ever done. So, um, no joke. Appreciate all the bands that have been a part of it. Appreciate everyone for being a part of this live stream. Y'all are the fucking shit. Thank you for watching and being a part of this. Um, I'll, I'll let you guys know when I upload it to YouTube. We'll go ahead and make that a thing. Yeah. but yeah sunday service is every single sunday at 5 p.m is when it starts so next sunday at 5 p.m we're gonna have even more bands and it's gonna be fucking awesome so every sunday 5 p.m sunday service set an alarm in your phone this is something i'm gonna do every sunday forever until i'm dead <laughs> that was grim but yeah Every Sunday, I'll be doing Sunday service, so you can catch me here. We're going to be jamming new bands, and it's going to be a good time. I appreciate everyone that was a part. I hope you all have a great rest of your Sunday. I love all of you, and I will see you very soon. I stream every day, mostly playing Apex and video games, so if you guys want to join or follow my Twitch channel, perfect. If you, if you aren't following my Twitch channel now, please follow my twitch channel i stream every day i hang out i tell crazy stories i talk shit whatever 
typical shit you can expect, but so far my only stream that I do every week, no matter what, is Sunday service, so it doesn't matter the genre of music, by the way. You could be pop punk, you could be a rapper, you could be deathcore, it doesn't matter. Sunday service is for everyone. But yeah, all right, enjoy the rest of your Sunday, as I will too. I love you guys, appreciate you guys being here, and I'll see you next time, next Sunday, okay? If you guys want to submit and have your music played on Sunday service, send me an email to at businessfronz, or sorry, businessfronz at gmail.com, and we'll get your song up here on the Sunday stream. All right, peace out, guys. Y'all have a great fucking day. Enjoy the rest of your day. Love you. I'll see you soon.